This video will have a look at Intuit Sign for Profile, the user side. So how to send documents to clients. There are three videos demonstrating Intuit Sign for Profile. Uh, the user side, which will be this one. Then the client side, what your clients see and how they sign the document. And a third video for the Intuit Sign for Profile dashboard. This video will discuss the licensing requirement, setting up Intuit Sign for Profile, and then the procedure to send a document to a client. Mention here that you have to activate the separate eSign purchased license, and then log into your Intuit One account. No order is required here. You just have to do both of these before you can prepare a document to send to a client. Let's go have a look at Profile, and we'll have a look at setting up Intuit Sign for Profile, logging into Intuit One account, and have a quick tour of what's available for Intuit Sign. I'm in Profile now, and let's have a look here at File. And there's the e-signature, and it says to connect. Uh, doing it out of order from what was on the slide. You have to sign into your Intuit One account. I will sign into my Intuit One account. Uh, this is the same account you use for backup to the cloud, for instance. Uh, it's good to verify with a text message, but I'm gonna skip for now. This is a test version of Profile. Then you have to select your business. You would use the same one, the same business that you would use if you were using backup to the cloud, and connect. And I'm signed in to my Intuit One account. The next thing that pops up is a box to connect. Uh, I canceled that just to show you where you can access that at any time. From the menu bar, I can select options and integration. So profile is profile can be integrated with any of these e-signature products. Uh, right now it says I'm connected to its to its sign. If I have a license for DocuSign and I want to use that, I can disconnect and go over and connect. But right now, I want to demonstrate Intuit Sign, so I'll leave it as connected to Intuit Sign and press OK. Okay, so I've connected to my Intuit One account, logged in my Intuit One account, connected to Intuit Sign for profile. So let's see what happens here. If I go to e-signature, it says click signature. Okay, so I have to open a client. I have to open a client to request an e-signature or view a dashboard. Okay, so I wanted to demonstrate this. You'll, you have to have a file open. Okay, I have a file open now. Let's go back and see what happens now. Click signatures. Okay, so e-signature requires a license. So I can purchase a license. I do have a license, so that's the next step. Just wanted to show you uh, the message you'll get if you don't activate your e-signature license. Let's go up to manage licenses. So I do have my T1 license for 2023 but there's no e-sign license. So you should have a code on your invoice from when you made the purchase. And I'm just going to paste that there. Should look similar to the license you would have for the actual T1 or other profile licenses. Uh, if you have, leave the dashes in, that's fine. It'll work, so I'll activate. And it will tell you it was successfully activated. And there I have my 2023 T1 license, and I now have an activated 2023 e-signature. I can close that, and let's see what we've got now. I saw in options, we have the integration. I can connect or disconnect. I have to activate a license and manage licenses. There's a dashboard, which will be the topic of another video. And then I can, of course, collect signatures. Let's just look at some 
information about creating documents. We're demonstrating here the first release of Intuit Sign for Profile. Uh, there will be updates, there'll be changes to it. Uh, we're just excited to get this out to people. Watch for updates in future version of Profile. Things will change. I want to mention Intuit Sign for Profile pulls the information from the info tab. So the client's name, social insurance number, uh, the email. This first version of Intuit Sign allows the selection of one document per transmission to the client. So I can't send a authorization and a T183 in the same transmission. Uh, that's limitation of this first version of, of Intuit Sign for Profile. But you can send multiple transmissions. So if you need to send more than one document, send them out separately. Let's go have a look how that works in Profile. Back in Profile now, and I'll send a document. And I want to collect a signature. And then this box comes up. Which document do I want to send? Uh, notice this is a radio button. I select... I can't select multiple forms, like I mentioned on the slide, but I'll do that and click Next. This window comes up, and it's just confirming it created a document T183 PDF. You can view it if you want or delete it. Click Next. I get this screen. All the information pulls from the info screen for this fictitious person. It'll send this need action. It'll have the person's name in brackets. Here is where it will insert the name. Okay, I added a little note here. I click next, and that took me to this screen. So I have some options. I can send a reminder or not send a reminder. I can adjust the number of days I send it. After the first reminder, I can send a reminder every. So I can set the number of days, the number of days before the request expires, a uh, number of days before expiration to warn the signer. So like in 13 days, they'll warn them. So if I'm okay with this, then I can build the document to send. First, it gives me a summary screen just so I can confirm that everything looks right. And then once I click send, it'll send it off to the person. It's adding the document, and the request was sent. I just closed that last window, uh, the one that showed it was successfully sent. So that's just, that's the user side. There are other videos for the client side and the dashboard. Watch out for those two other videos. Have a look at them so you get the whole picture. Uh, thank you for viewing this video. Other support options can be found at the Profile website. It's profile.intuit.ca. Thanks again for viewing.